occasion. Normally they were in a storage room off to the side of PH5. Moving aside from Mr. Bett and Mr. Judge, while you stayed at the East Columbia building, did you come to know any of the employees of the building? Uh, casually. Who is Trinity Esparza? She was one of the front desk people. Did you have communications with her? In the course of living there, yes. Did you find her to be pleasant? No. What, what, how was she unpleasant? She was not particularly polite or accommodating to me or Raquel or any of Amber's friends. I wasn't there specifically, but I heard similar things from Amber and her interactions with her as well throughout the course of our time there. While you lived in Penthouse One, did you have the opportunity to interact often with Amber Heard? Yes. Did you and Rocky see Ms. Heard frequently? Yes. Did you ever see her drinking alcohol? Yes. <coughs> did you ever see her drink to excess? Yes. Did you observe Amber Heard during her wedding to Mr. Depp at the Bahamas? Yes. Was she intoxicated at any time during the wedding weekend? Yes. Uh, As were we all. Did you ever hear at any time Amber Heard yell at Mr. Depp? Yes. On how many occasions? I couldn't tell you the number of occasions. Did you ever see her strike Mr. Depp? No. Have, did you and Rocky ever discuss the relationship between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? Yes. On how many occasions? Honestly, probably hundreds if not thousands. Mr. Drew, moving to April 21, 2016, do you recall that there was to have been a birthday celebration that night? Yes. Was that Amber Heard's birthday? Yes. Do you recall which birthday it was for her, how old she was? It was her 30th. I catered it. What do you recall about that evening? I recall it was held in PH5. Um, Johnny was hours late. Um, and Amber spent the better part of the evening making excuses for him. Um, and he came very obviously intoxicated and put on a show for everybody. Um, and when the party was over, or we left, cleaned up, and the next morning we heard about what had transpired after the fact. So Johnny was supposed to have attended the dinner, correct? Correct. And at what time did the dinner begin? I don't recall. <laughs> You and Rocky were guests at the dinner? Correct. Who else was invited to the dinner? Um, again, you'll have to forgive me. It was quite some time ago. I remember Amber's friend Brandon being there, uh, Amber's friend Iggy, a rabbi. I want to say that Whitney was there as well. Um, to be very honest, I can't say with specificity who else was there. When you say Whitney, are you referring to Whitney Hurd? Correct. Is Whitney Hurd Amber's younger sister? Correct. Putting aside the state or condition in which Johnny arrived, do you recall sitting here today approximately when Johnny arrived for dinner? I really couldn't tell you with any specificity, but I can say it was quite a few hours after the party had started. Did he provide any excuse or explanation to the group as to why he was late? No. Putting aside Mr. Depp's intake of alcohol that evening, uh, had Miss Heard been drinking before Mr. Depp arrived? Yes. Do you know how much? Couldn't tell you. Did she seem intoxicated during at any time during the evening? Yes. Did you see Amber Heard the next morning, April 22nd, 2016? I believe so, yes. <coughs> Did you notice any marks on her face or elsewhere that morning? I don't recall. That morning, April 22nd, did you and Ms. Pennington and Amber Heard drive together to Coachella? They did, I did not. Are you still in contact with Amber Heard? Sporadically, yes.
And, and just, just to be clear, but I'm sorry to jump around, um, when you say Let's check that. Um, are you you say sporadically? How frequently are you in contact with her? We didn't speak for about two years following my divorce, and she reached out to me to make amends about I want to say about two months ago. If memory serves. I'm going to come back to that. When you said um, you don't recall seeing marks on. The morning of April 22nd, is that because you didn't see any marks on the shirt or you didn't see her at all that morning? I, I honestly don't recall the state of her the next morning. If memory serves, it was but that the girls were hustling to get everything together to go out to Coachella. So it was a pretty frantic morning. I, I couldn't say with any specificity whether I interacted with her that morning before they departed. And Mr. Drew, you said that Ms. Hurd reached out to you when was when did she reach out to you sometime in the last two months what did she say when she reached out to you uh if, to paraphrase it was something akin to letting me know that you know her and raquel were hadn't spoken in some time and to tell me that she loved me and that she missed me and she just wanted to make amends and you know reconnect did she mention anything about this lawsuit? Not in the initial interaction. Um, how did you respond to her in this initial interaction when she said she wanted to make amends? I didn't for some time. I think I waited about a week and a half before I responded. And before I could, I did get uh, a note from her letting me know that she had tried to keep me out of it. But more than likely, people were going to be contacting me um, either about being deposed or <coughs> a statement of some kind. Um, there was nothing explicit about whom it would be coming from, whether it was from Johnny's side or from her side, only that somebody would more than likely be reaching out to me. And when you had a glass of wine, again, only lawyers remember these things, but do you recall approximately when you had a glass of wine with her? Probably about f five or six weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry, it would be longer than that, probably about two months ago. Mr. Drew, let's please change subjects and move to the evening of May 21, 2016, which you had <coughs> referenced previously. Was Mr. Depp at the condo at the East Columbia building that day prior to the evening? Not to my knowledge. Did you see him arriving at the condo that night? No. Did you see Mr. Bett and Mr. Judge that evening? Yes. When did you first see them? I saw them when he ordered them to open the door to PH5 following the incident. When you say he, to whom are you referring? Johnny. Did you ever see them that night somewhere outside the door of PH3? No. <coughs> Do you know whether she received a text from Amber Heard at 8.06 p.m.? I can't certify the time, but the text message itself and the receipt, yes. Were you with Rocky when she received that text? Yes. Wasn't she already in Penthouse 3 as of 8.06 p.m.? When she received the text, she was not in Penthouse 3. She was in Penthouse 5 with me. But again, I can't, I, I can't recall with specificity the exact time of these events. Any time, including that night, did you ever see Mr. Depp strike Rocky Pennington? No. That evening, did you see Mr. Depp smash bottles of wine? No. Did you see him break furniture? No. Did you see him kick a hole in, through a solid door? No. Do you recall when Mr. Depp, Mr. Bett, and Mr. Judge left the building that night? If we're starting, if if we're presuming that that text was received from Raquel at 8.06, they had left the building within 30 minutes, to my recollection. <clears throat> so it would be approximately sometime around 8.30, 8.29? Thereabouts, but I don't recall specifically. What else do you remember about the events of the evening of May 21? 
I mean, I can I can tell you contemporaneously from the start if there's something specific you'd like me to expound on. Who is Officer Melissa Science? My understanding, it was the name of the uh, Latina officer that first responded with her partner. <coughs> when did she arrive at the scene, if you recall? Vaguely, I remember them arriving about 45 minutes to an hour after uh, Johnny had left. But again, exact times, I'm a little foggy. <coughs> Going back to the Latina officer, was there another officer with her? Yes, there was a bald gentleman, white. With which officer, if, if any, did you speak that night? Both. What do you, do you say them, to them, do you, if you recall? When they arrived, I greeted them at the door. I walked them through PH3 to show them the damage, show them the broken glass. Uh, they had already walked through the hallway over the gigantic wine stain throughout the entire hallway. I took them through PH3, like I said, to show them the damage. I took them back out of the hallway, showed them the dent in the door shaped like the bottom of a wine bottle in PH1. Took them into PH5 to see uh, broken picture frames, smashed glass, um, Raquel's jewelry and things like that strewn about the apartment. And then I brought them back to PH3, at which point they separated. The Latino officer pulled Amber aside specifically to speak to her one-on-one. -on -one. The door was closed. I was outside with the other officer. Um, so I can't say with any specificity what happened um, inside. I don't know whether anybody was in earshot. I don't know whether anybody else was around. They told me specifically it was one-on-one. -on -one. And I was outside the door with the male officer. And specifically, my communication with him was asking what, if anything, could be done because we were obviously upset. And his comment to me specifically was, there's damage in these apartments. Her face is red. If she wants to file a report, we have enough here to go pick him up. But you've never seen Johnny hit Amber. That's correct. And I've affirmed it to everybody that I've spoken to. I've been explicit about that. And you've never seen Johnny hit any woman. Correct. Do you recall having a conversation with Rocky and Amber after Mr. Depp and his security personnel left the building, but before Officer Science and Officer Haddon arrived? Yes. Tell us about that. Um, you'll have to forgive me again. My, my memory of the exact sequence of events, sequence of events, I'm sorry, that transpired after all this is, is a little foggy. If memory serves, Amber was damn near catatonic after all this. We had gotten her into PH1 so we could deadbolt the door and keep her safe until he left. A few minutes thereafter, I had gotten a little bit of a rundown from Raquel over what had transpired. Raquel got her to call her lawyer, Samantha Spector, to find out what to do. Um, and if memory serves, Samantha's recommendation was that we immediately put together a contemporaneous um, matter-of-fact statement together of what had transpired that night. Um, and that ultimately was up to Amber as to what she wanted to do uh, <coughs> with the police or whatever it may be. Are you aware that Amber Heard spoke to Officer Science and Officer Haddon that evening? Yes. Were you present when she was speaking to them? No. Did Amber file a complaint that night? No. Did the police arrest Mr. Depp? No. Did they issue a warrant for his arrest? Not that I'm aware of. Mr. Drew, let's turn for the moment to May 22nd, 2016. Did you see Ms. Hurd at all that day? Yes. When did you see her? At various points throughout the day. Um, if memory serves, Raquel had committed to a, a jewelry show somewhere, I want to say it was downtown, I might be mistaken, it might have been out in Venice, somewhere in Los Angeles. So she was out most of the day. So I cleared my schedule to be able to be there should Amber need anything. Um, if memory serves, uh, either her attorney or somebody in her, uh, in her group hired, uh, had a friend come over with a locksmith to change the locks just to be safe.
Um, and I was there to make sure that that happened and just, like I said, be there for Amber should she need anything, just so she wasn't alone. When you saw Amber on May 22nd, you don't know whether it was the morning or the afternoon. Is that right? Uh, it was sporadic throughout the day. I think it was some point late morning and throughout the afternoon. When you first saw her, did you notice any marks on her face? Yes. Describe the marks, please. Uh, to be very honest with you, I don't actually remember which side of her face it was, but I do distinctly remember there being a red mark and a small bruise on her cheekbone and red marks just above her eyebrow and to the right side or to the side of her eyebrow. Did you see any swelling? A little bit. Can you remember anything else? Uh, did you see marks anywhere else other than the ones you've described? No. Did you ever notice anyone visiting Amber Heard at night while Mr. Depp was away? During the time that I was living there? Yes. Yes. On how many occasions? I wouldn't even be able to estimate. Was it more than 10? Yes. Was it more than 20? Yes. Was it more than 30? Yes. Was it more than 50? Again, I, I, I can't really speculate. I was there for quite some time. When did that first occur? I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not privy to her comings and goings, and uh, she had other friends than us that were coming to see her, so. And again, to be specific, I'm just talking about visitors at night when Mr. Depp was away. Again, I can't say it with any specificity. When did that first happen that you were aware of? I mean, I would say pretty early on, but again, I, I, there's no context to it. The other consideration that I would say is that the hallway between all of these penthouses was public right of way going to the pool. So my understanding of people coming and going, it might have been the public, it might have been residents, or no, I'm sorry, not public, it might have been residents in the building. I can't really say with any specificity. But, but, who was Elon Musk? Elon Musk was a gentleman that Amber dated intermittently following the restraining order. When did you, do you, can you recognize Elon Musk? Yes. When did you first see Elon Musk at Penthouse 3? I'm a little, again, I'm, I'm not quite clear exactly, but I want to say it was about three to four weeks after um, the restraining order was filed. But while... Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard were still married, correct? Yes. After May 22nd, 2016, did you ever see any marks on Ms. Heard? Not to my knowledge, no. Would you please describe, as, as far as you can remember, what cleanup efforts were undertaken and by whom? Uh, well, myself. Um, in Penthouse 3, there was a number of pieces of broken glass.